I mean, most people think the play calling in that approach last week was just atrocious. I like the fact he says criticism's fair. Like, yeah, <laughs> I, think, I think so. Um, here's the deal. So if they lose, they're going to be one and three. The Bears are like an eight and eight team. That's not, that's not a good start. They're the only team that's beaten the Bengals, a team that my panelists think is a lock to get to three and one tonight. So maybe they got that going for them. I wouldn't fire him yet, but I would recognize that the offense has, which he came as an offensive guy, the offense has been the problem his whole time there. Frank Isola, would you be starting Fields this week after? Clearly, they could not get on any page yeah. last week. Yeah, well, let's get it clear, though, with Tim. Eight and eight, let's remember, 17 games. So are they going to go eight and nine or nine and eight? You got to give us that, that final game. Eight, eight, eight and one. I'm not going to, I'm not going <laughs> to start him. Oh, no. And I get it. Yeah. And, and I get it. The Bears head coach is a pinata with a headset on. And everything he does, he's going to get crushed. But I think he was right the way they started the season, using a veteran quarterback, bringing Justin Fields in mm. situations. I think that's going to help him develop. Maybe later on in the season. Not right now. I'm not sure. You might be the first person on national television to, uh, to give Nagy a little bit of space there to breathe. Are, are you starting Fields this week, Frank? No. No. I'm not starting him. Either Dal Dalton or Foles. You do ever not want to see again what happened last week again. Monica McNutt, how about you? Uh, yeah, I'm not starting Fields either. And I, the one thing I will give Nagy is that it seems like, based on what we've seen from him, he's handled it right. But when you think about how he got that job in that 12-4 and four season and all the, the praise initially, the way they have tanked is just nah, – I shouldn't say tanked, but the way they have not been able to follow that up is absolutely egregious. And Mina Kimes. I – uh, Matt Nagy, wow, compliments uh, from around the panel. So I'll shut that down. The game plan was <laughs> atrocious. I, I'm like kind of stunned. And, and, and along those lines, that's why I'd be a little bit reticent or, or, or nervous about starting fields because I do not have faith in Matt Nagy to put together a good game plan and to prepare not just fields but also the offensive line, all of it, because they looked so discombobulated last week. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.